let's have a crash course on law of exponents. I do it a little differently. Those who watch my videos realize that. When I tell exponents to add or subtract, that's your combine like terms. That's a lousy S. So when we combine like terms, we use them like labels. I can't combine those because different powers. These I can combine because exponents are the same. So two plus four, meaning the the numbers in front or the coefficients can do the math. Two plus four is six, and the x squared part is just a label. This is what I'm saying by add subtract like terms. Crash course, they can only combine. All right. When I tell exponents to multiply, they do one step less. They add. So in other words, x to the third times x to the fourth becomes x of three plus four or x to the seventh. Exponents add, but what if I have real numbers in front? Well, in this case, these numbers do multiply. So two times three gives me the six. While exponents have their own rules, those will add. So five plus six is 11. So I tell them to add, multiply, they really add. They always do one step less. Now I accidentally hit the erase button. Well, if I tell them to divide, one step less of division is Subtraction. So 4x to the fifth divided by 2x to the third. Well, the numbers in front, the coefficients do the division. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now the exponents, they follow the exponent rules. They subtract. So 5 minus 3 gives us x squared. Let's do another one. Four X to the seventh by by eight X to the fourth. Well, I'm going to break the, the front, the big numbers or the coefficients separately, four eighths. Here's a mistake most students do. They just say two. No, the big number's on the bottom. It's on the it's in the denominator. So the answer has to go where the biggest number is. So think reducing fractions in this case. So it becomes one half. Now I can deal with the x to the seventh over x to the fourth. 7 minus 4 is 3, and you write the answer where the biggest exponent is. So this becomes 1x cubed over 2, or what you typically will see, x cubed over 2. Okay. 
Yani quickly, a couple. So let's talk about power to power. This is what I'm talking about. You have a parenthesis being raised to power. So think of this is a kind of form of distribution because this has got to go to this guy and this guy go this way. But how does exponents affect other exponents? Again, following the rules I've been going along, it's one step down. Well, it's not the addition, it's not going to be subtraction, it's going to be multiplication so these guys will multiply but the three is going to actually do the math so this becomes three squared x squared squared so three squared is nine and this now multiplies two times two is to the fourth so three x squared squared is at nine x to the fourth What if you have a negative exponent? Well, it's screaming at you to move me. So what if you have something like this? Well, that negative seven says he's unhappy on top. He wants to go down, but X to the fourth, he's perfectly happy down there. So he's going to stay. So we kind of treat this as if two different problems because the coefficients are happy with the basic rules. Two fourths, that's a fraction. So reduce it. It becomes one half. The seven wants to move down. So this becomes X to the seven down there. And now we've got X to the fourth times X to the seven. And guess what we have? We have a multiplication problem now. Now I said, what? Multiply needs to add. So I'm gonna multiply X to the fourth times X to the seventh and I get X to the 11th. Okay, but that's a quick step-by-step -step of what happens when we have power to power, negative exponents, things move, they change, All right? Hopefully this helps.